Welcome back, everyone. A new chocolate shop is making a splash in Society Hill for its beautiful bonbons and is offering up some fun Easter treats for the holiday. Yeah, pastry chef and owner of Aurora Grace gave me a one on one lesson to how she crafts such eye catching creations. You can turn chocolate into anything, so um, why, why wouldn't I want to do that? <laughs> And you'd be amazed by the dazzling creation self-taught chocolatier Aurora Wold churns out of her Aurora Grace kitchen just a block off of 5th and South. Every week we're making about 3,000 bonbons. Her signature sweets are these colorful hand-painted bonbons whose flavor combos are just as unique as they look. My personal favorite is the spicy dark chocolate, so we use uh, locally grown chili peppers. Just in time for Easter, Wold is applying similar techniques on some hand-cast chocolate eggs. They're really fun because they're all filled with like little pralines, which are uh, different types of like nut butters and there's wafer bits inside. I'll show you that, we'll do it by hand. The most important step is the very first one, tempering the chocolate. Ideally, we want it to be between 30 to 33 degrees Celsius. Everything has to be precise. There's a lot that can go wrong. The next step is painting the molds with colored cocoa butter. It's very meditative. You just kind of like zone out and just work and be creative. Once they dry, it's time to cast the molds in chocolate. This smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like dump it in there? Yep. Ooh. The shells are cooled, cast again, and then cooled a second time until they're ready to fill. Once filled with goodies and carefully melted together, the egg is ready to hatch with a little help. So now I'm going to break my beautiful creation. <laughs> yeah, hit it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's that snap I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. At just 24 years old and less than two years after starting Aurora Grace out of her apartment, Wold has a thriving Etsy shop, a loyal following at area farmers markets, and her own retail storefront. So, how did she do it? Don't let anybody tell you no, but I will say make sure that you've got the grit and the persistence to keep going with it. It's definitely not easy. I really enjoy what I do. And then at the end, you get a beautiful, delicious result. Like, how can you complain? And Aurora Grace is holding an Easter egg making class this Friday from 5 to 7 p.m. Children are welcome and the cost is $45. They'll also accept walk-ins on Easter Sunday to paint an egg and take it home. And it was a lot of fun. We'll have more information and a link on how to sign up on our website, cbsphilly.com.